All right, next up, we are going to shift into the bag. Um, I guess first things we'll start off with are protective gear. All right, first thing I got here is my sliding mitt. You guys have seen, I've been a fan of the 44 sliding mitt for a couple years now. Um, I like the way the colors were blended. Um, I was able to customize this on their site. Been good two years with it. I'm starting to get a little bit of a rippage right here. Uh, going in the second pretty hard, but it's part of it. Um, you know, I think if you're a serious base dealer, I think you gotta protect that left wrist when you go in hard to second. This has kept me pretty safe over the year and allowed me to be pretty aggressive still. So um, I value this. Also wore all year this year, my double strap elbow guard. Uh, wore this left and right handed uh, for the majority of the year. Um, historically, my first season in pro ball, I didn't even wear one, but I felt like this year was important. You know, you don't wanna take a, a 95 off the elbow and, and your season's over, so. Shout out to the elbow guard. Right here we got another, I guess, Giants theme elbow guard. Never worn this, but a little bit lighter version than the double strap. It takes up a lot less room. So if you're not really worried about the tricep, this can also be a good option. Next we got helmet, Eugene M's logo on it. Rawlings, wear a size small because I got a little P head um, with an afro sometimes. So shout out to the helmet. Most important pieces in the bag, um, definitely gotta be my gamer here. This is my Marucci C mod. I'm one of the few infielders in the game who wear Marucci, but I, I'm I'm pretty loyal to it. So this is double post 11.75. These are, this glove is also designed to be shifted. So in Marucci, they give you an option. Uh, if you're if you like two in the pink, they will actually modify the pinky slot to be wider. So at the time of me getting this glove, I was a two in the pinky guy. Um, and then the, my last two weeks of the off season. Last year, I, uh, I picked up an old glove of mine from college. And I, I really started getting better at my double play fees and um, just overall awareness with the glove again. So back to straight up. And then, um, so my pinky kind of plays in this little shift, like tune the pinky. So it's a little bit separated from other fingers. So I really think this helps me go from third to short to second. And I can make the glove smaller or bigger while still being straight up one in the pink. So next up is my outfield glove. One time this year, I think we were low on outfielders and they asked me if I could play outfield. So I told them always, have my outfield glove in the bag. Um, can't be harder than catching a punt. So this is my outfield glove. Only worn once, I believe. All right, here we have my backup glove. Um, this is a Nakona. Um, this is 11.75 as well, double post. They let me customize this one completely. So shout out to them. So I went with a cool colorway, a little white, baby blue, and Nate and yellow. I got my mom's initials right there. So once you get your gamer broken into like game readiness, you're really not trying to accelerate that process any further. So. Um, anytime I can play catch, get some infield drills with this glove, I guess the better. But in general too, um, this glove still is it's three years old and still is not like game ready in my opinion. So um, that's also why it's the backup. Also have my paddle here. I use this for about 15 ground balls or um, push throughs, whatever, um, just to help me get uh, my hands organized for the day. Um, I really feel like once I get my routine down with my paddle, um, it makes my transition with confidence to my glove a lot better. Um, I would say though too, you can overdo the paddle in my opinion, because I think the most important thing you can do in the game is get the ball in and out of your game glove. So yes, you can increase your speed. You can increase your speed, but I think you also can find the happy medium between paddle and then the transition to your game glove. I think that's ideal for most infielders. $20 paddle. At Dicks. And then this is the shin guard. Um, I generally don't like running with these, but this is the switch hitter version. You can wear it left or right handed. I've gotten asked why I don't wear a shin guard after I found the ball off my feet numerous times. You know, the answer is usually like, this is my, that's my reminder to stay inside the ball, but it can only take one off the barrel to really mess you up. So maybe I'll be better at this as time goes on. We'll see. These are the first pair of spikes I came out with this year. Um, these are the Adidas Afterburner 2s. So I think these were from like 2016. Sniped these on eBay for like 29 bucks this year. These are probably my favorite models. Very simple. Um, they're low. There's only got the spike profile at the bottom. And I don't feel like my foot is too high off the ground, which is something I like about spikes. So these are one of my favorites. Yeah, so the Adidas Afterburner 2s. And about halfway through the year, I made a transition. Um, to the New Balance 4040s. Historically, they have two models, the 3030s and the 4040s. The 4040s are considered their lightweight model. I think that's what they do with the plate is a little bit different. I made a switch to these, wore these the last two weeks in San Jose and uh, finished the year with these in Eugene. These are obviously my backup pair. These haven't been touched. My other ones are full of champagne from our celebration and they found their way into the trash can. But shout out to 4040s. I do think this was the only colorway that looked good though. Um, the ones with colors didn't look too solid, so I went all white. They played in 
looks pretty good. Okay, next we have are my turfs from this year. Um, these are the Trey Youngs. Um, so I, Trey Young is my favorite basketball player. Um, historically, I like playing in basketball or like training in basketball shoes for the way you can feel the ground and whatnot. Kind of disappointed in these. I, I felt my foot was separated from the ground. I feel like I was missing a little bit true balance. These are cool. Probably won't wear them very much again, maybe to go hoop or something like that. But these were cool. These are cool shoes. They look really cool. They just, they, I don't think they perform the best for my foot. So these are the Trey Youngs. I don't know what th that name was called, but. Next I have my shower shoes. Shout out to T-Voss giving me these at uh, Arizona Spring Training with the Brewers a couple years ago. Wear these two or three times a day, depending on how long I'm at the field. Always need them. So they're two years old though. So I probably do need to get a new pair. Shout out to the shower shoes. Next we have are my soccer cleats. Um, wear these. The off season a lot, pick the soccer ball, go run wide receiver routes against somebody. Or if I'm training on a turf facility that they don't allow spikes, these are usually what I have. I'll keep these in the bag during the year if I want to do something fun outside before the game, maybe kick the soccer ball, you know, etc. Any of those things. Or just pregame work depending on how I'm feeling. I haven't taken these out the bag much this year. They're pretty cool. They're all right. These are considered predators for those who care. Okay, next we have uh, a training band. I use this for some shoulder work before the game. And you know, there's some other drills you can do, uh, I guess, as as far as working with your swing with it as well. So I keep this in the bag. This is a New Balance brand band. Um, it worked really good. It's basically just tubing. Then I have a, I have a bottle of this. I usually keep about three with me throughout the year. It's called Dry Hands. I used to use it when I was in high school playing quarterback uh, down here in South Louisiana, especially on the turf early in the year, it gets really hot. So I'm used to have to worry about my hands sweating. So kept some of this in the bag ever since. Wet days or um, really hot days where I need a little bit more grip. Um, I'll, I'll put the dry hands on and it takes all the moisture out my hands so it's liquidy it's not like pasty or anything and it dries like in seconds so for those who need a little alternative and you can't use spider tack and and try to rip rip the sliders on me anymore um, you can go ahead and try this. Next, I have another little knickknack. Shout out to my movement coach, Ricky Stanzi. Um, but this is a towel with tape on it, just very simple. I'm um, using it for some throwing drills and as well as some drills to swing the bat. So <laughs> this is uh, just a towel with tape. Keep it in the bag with me um, if I need to loosen the shoulders up a little bit. Next in the bag, we got some hats. Got an Emeralds hat, San Jose hat, Brewer Spring Training, and then a Giant Spring Training hat. Here I also have a, a memory piece for me. This is from the 4th of July in Fresno. Uh, me and Sergeant Williams traded hats after the game. I think he was from the Fresno area. Um, U.S. Army 2nd Infantry. Always, it was one of the cool experiences for me. Traded my hat, we took a picture. So for all those who are veterans who have served any capacity, especially those who have given all, you know, I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, Sergeant Williams, if you're watching. All right, next are my batting gloves. Shout out to Franklin, um, hooking me up a couple boxes throughout the year. This year I was with the Pro Classics. Um, I switched between the Pro Classics and the Power Straps. So these are what the Pro Classics look like. You guys can see I cut the straps off of my gloves. For me, it's just it's just a better feel. Shout out to Orlando Hudson, but when I was a kid, he used to not strap his batting gloves, and ever since I was nine, I never strapped them again. So once I cut off the straps on these, I like them more, um, and these are some Power straps uh, with Franklin as well. So I usually get the options of either one of these throughout the year. Power straps have a leather palm um, with more of a synthetic backing. I think the, the Pro Classics are uh, a sheepskin blend, I think. They're a little bit lighter, so um, two different feels. I'm glad Franklin at least has the option to try different ones and whatnot, but those are cool. All right, in my bag, I got uh, a loop. This is what you put all your shorts and t-shirts and stuff on for the clubhouse manager to, to clean for you. So shout out to all the guys who helped me out stay in order all throughout the year. Extra arm sleeves. So I got some that are worth in the season. We got gray and orange. This one's gray and black. You can't see it because it's inside out. This one's gray and black as well. Uh, we got a gray and navy from um, my time in Pensacola. Got a white and orange one here. Wore this in San Jose. Gray and white one. Wore this one on the road. Um, here we have a limited edition have a day sleeve. So um, if you guys want this, Leave a comment down below. Maybe we'll put this on the site. And then uh, we also have a limited edition have a day headband. This is new. I've given this out to a few of my friends to try them and demo them. Um, I'm not a big headband guy anymore, generally, because I have an afro and it just kind of stays out my face in any way. But for those who do, um, leave a comment below if you'd want the have a day headband released on the website. Also an exciting news. We are currently working on some custom five guy elbow and sliding mitts. Um, so if you guys would be interested in 
that, leave a comment down below. We may also do some shin guards as well. Trying to start getting these worked out. Our 44 is kind of gone out. We have some pretty cool designs been working on, so we'll see if we can be able to get those out to you guys as well. Leave a comment down below if you guys would be interested. Five guy elbow, shin, or sliding mint. Got is another book from my dad. Like I guys told you, I'm a big fan of the books. Have been using Audible. Audible kind of helps me finish my books at a timely rate. So this is just another one. Power of focus. Just a reminder, just to, so you're not sure how much free time you may have a day or how your day is going to work out, but I like to fulfill it with some good knowledge if I can. Podcasts, some books. All right, and this is a package from the boys from Humboldt. Shout out to the boys at Canada Dip. But right here, we got some CBD dips. I used to be a toothpick guy in college, kind of like a health hazard. <laughs> um, I enjoyed like chewing gum or whatnot. And this has been a good alternative for me. So these are called Canada Dips. They have uh, 10 milligrams of CBD each. Um, no tobacco, no nicotine. I'm not really fans of either of those. Just pop them in, just kind of chill. They're THC free as well for those who care. We got flavors, American Spice. I think that's my emerging favorite. They're new and improved wintergreen flavor, tropical mango, mangy citrus, and mint. And then now I would like to introduce you to their new fuel pack. Um, this is brand new to their site, um, but we have Go Fuel and we have Sleep Fuel. So um, their Go Fuel flavors mint, charge up mocha, and charge up mango. These are CBD and caffeine. These have about 25 milligrams of caffeine in each. So um, for me, as a guy who doesn't necessarily need a lot of caffeine, I think these are a good little you know, boost for me. I've tried I've tried these. I've tried the, the mint and the mint have been, been cool for a little workout. Not too sped up, but a good little flow zone. And then um, that now this is the sleep fuel, caramel, peach, and mint. Um, and these have two milligrams of melatonin each. So not a lot, but, um, and I'm not a guy that normally needs help sleeping. Um, but you know, for those who probably maybe on the bus or something, this is probably a nice little, nice little vibe. Appreciate you. All right. And lastly, but not least, um, before this rain kicks me out, I just extend a shout out to Fresh Cap. Fresh Cap is, um, it's a mushroom extract company. So there's a few different types that I like. Um, mushrooms are an adaptogen, um, all organic. I think it's an emerging health supplement. I can stay away from all the crazy stuff. I'll try to. Um, this is definitely something that helps me out a lot. Right here, I have cordyceps, which is an energy support and immune balancing mushroom. Uh, lion's mane, which is for focus, clarity, and mood. Um, lion's mane is generally the most popular of the adaptogen mushrooms. And then I also have an ultimate mushroom complex, which includes lion's mane, cordyceps, uh, turkey tail, which I think is for immune support as well. Maitake, I'm not sure. Uh, reishi helps you improve your sleep quality. Uh, and chaga, I think is balanced. So I'm not sponsored sponsored by this company fresh cap um, but I have been a consumer for the last two years um, I mix this in my electrolytes uh, or coffee if I have it I'm not normally a coffee drinker these are definitely good with the cordyceps I can definitely feel my energy sustained you know without a crash throughout the long part of the day and then the lion's mane I'll actually take this if I need to edit a video in, in quick speed so a little simple but I felt the need to shout out to them this is always in my bag and it just looks like dirt you know it's just it looks like just ground up dirt shout out to fresh cap but I like to thank you guys all for watching my post season 2022 what's in my bag maybe i'll update you guys as i get some more knickknacks um as the off season goes and then uh we'll try to keep up the content for you guys as well thank you guys for watching this is five guys also if i could i would take my pup and put her in my bag i think maybe next year we'll try to take her on some flights say hi to the camera sky all right this is five guy we out